cup of tea, fathers. No, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. What do you think of her? Yeah, right. Are you sure you won't have a cup? It's a prize in our big raffle. Right, just the drop in your hand, then. Go on inside, Mrs. Doyle. I'll take the tray. All right, Father. I'll put the kettle on in case you want some more once you get in. Oh, God, Ted, look at that. There's a dent in the car. What? Where's the dent? Just there, Ted. God, how did that happen? It must have been when you hit that fellow on the bike. Don't let that anyone do. He was all right anyway. I saw him getting up. Not too bad. Sure, you can just straighten that out with the top of a hammer. Uh, have a look in that box over there. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I'll just tap it the other way. It's no use, Ted. You'll never get it absolutely right. I thought I had it there a while ago, you know. It was looking all right. Like it needs you to keep banging away. You're a perfectionist, Ted, you know. It's not too bad. <laughs> Let's have another look. No, no, we can't give that away as a prize. <laughs> look, Ted, why don't you sleep in it? See how you feel in the morning. Maybe you're right. I probably needed that. <laughs> but uh, don't ever do it again. Now, what are we going to do? We could run away. <sighs> no, they just find us again. They always do. All oh, right. right. <laughs> what about that other fellow that has the car? Uh, the dancing priest? Finnegan. Yes, and it'll be the same type of car and everything. How could we get him to give it to us? Maybe... Maybe we could just get a lend of it. Ah, but when somebody wins it in the raffle, they won't want to give it back. Now, Dougal, this is going to sound very, very immoral, but um, stay with me. <laughs> what if... What if we organised the raffle so that we won it? Then we could bring the car back. Oh! <laughs> oh, that'd be terribly wrong, Ted. I don't think we should do that. It wouldn't be cheating, really. It would just... It would just be a case of structuring the raffle in such a way that the return comes to the benefactors rather than the beneficiaries. Mm hmm. Dougal, seriously, listen. If Bishop Brennan finds out that we wrecked the car, he will kill us. And murder is a terrible, terrible sin, Dougal. <laughs> so, by committing this little sin, we'll actually be saving a bishop's soul. <laughs> Fair enough, then, Ted. 